this is your first time here. I'm the Northwest Fisherman Chris, and today we're going to be cracking open the exclusive soft plastic bundle from Six Sense. This, all the baits in this bag are all, well they're obviously all soft plastics, but they are all also exclusive colors for the Six Sack. Um, I'm kind of hoping that some of these colors might be one or two, like ones that I already have, because I've had really, really good luck with my exclusive colors. So, all right, well, you know what? Let's just let's just get cracked into this thing. Let's see what we got. Okay, so first up, oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is the Stroker Craw. I think this is 3.7 Stroker Craw, and this is kind of like a like a peach. It's kind of like a pearly peach. Let's get one of these out and get a good look at it. Okay, I really like the Stroker Craw. Um, it's got a lot of really awesome action when it's swimming, so you just kind of rip that claw free, rip that claw free, and then you've got a nice beefy bottle uh, body. So this color is just kind of wicked. It's kind of like a like a peach color, like an artificial peach color, and then it's got a prismatic flake in it. So you got your reds, you got your blues, you got your greens. You got your black, you got everything. It's just, I don't think the camera's going to quite pick it up the way I want it to. But this is pretty neat. This is, this is super cool. Some of the flakes are bigger than other flakes. Like there's a giant blue one right here. This is cool. I'm definitely going to try this out, especially when we get more into summer. This is, this is super awesome, actually. Okay, get that guy back in there. Little claws back in there. It's a good color. I don't know if I even have any baits that are kind of like a like a peach color like this. Okay, let's see what's up next. Okay, so we got the Busa worm. So this is pretty awesome. Okay, um. So the Busa worm, it's, I wouldn't even want to really call it like a, like a, oh, come on. Oh, no, this isn't a Busa worm. I jumped the gun on that. This is a ridge worm, which is kind of even better a little bit, because I don't, th I don't think I've ever gotten the ridge worm as an exclusive color. Um, I do have a couple of ridge worms. And I do not have any that are this color. So this is kind of like a, um, almost like a June bug or like a plum color. And then it's got red and green flake in it. So the ridge worm, I, I, think, I believe it's nine and a half inches long. But when it's going through the water, the whole tail just kind of wags like that. The ridge worm's really, really effective, especially when the bass are being super aggressive. Um, yeah, that's, that's really exciting because I've never, I've never gotten the ridge worm in a six sack. I really like that. And these are great. These are really, really great for Texas rigs or Carolina rigs or, well, maybe not Carolina rig because you want to kind of drag it kind of slow, but these are definitely good for like a Texas rig or if you want to throw on like a um, like a swim jig, like a big swim jig, big as in hook size, not big as in weight size. That's that's really cool. Okay, next up, we got the flush 5.2. I don't actually. Th I think this is one I don't have. I don't think I have the flush in this color. So this is kind of like a snow white. It's got, it's almost like a pearl on the belly and it's got some silver flakes. The, the camera is not going to pick this up. It's just, the flake is so fine in it and the camera is probably going to drown out in the white. But the flush, it's like a soft jerk bait, but it's got this little nodule on the tail 
that helps it kind of add a little bit more extra action. I like to use flushes sometimes as like spinnerbait trailers because it just kind of, if I need something that's subtle, but I need something that's just enough, I'll throw a flush on there because it has that little nodule and it gives it a little bit more action back there. It kind of waves. I also like to throw these on um, bladed jigs, chatter baits, thunder crickets, all kinds of things. Or just fish it as is, or like on a donkey rig. That's really cool. And then it has little fins on the sides. It, none of this is going to show up. So, but it's got a dorsal fin, it's got a nice channel in the belly to hide your hook in. Um, the dorsal fin, I believe, is, yep, the dorsal fin is also split, but the camera's probably not going to catch anything. I've noticed the camera really kind of doesn't like white baits, especially with the lighting in here. Um, but yeah, this is, this is sweet. Super, super sweet. I can definitely think of a lot of uses that I'm going to use this for, because white is one of my go-to colors. And they do make the flush in, I think it's two or three different varieties of white, but none of them are, well, obviously none of them are like this. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an exclusive color. All right. Um, Glitch 3.8. This is a really great, like, drop shot bait. Um, I've also Ned rigged this with the fair amount of success for smallmouth. So let's check out this color. So it's, the plastic itself is kind of like a, like a smoky gray, super light purple, and it's got that heavy prism in it. So with the glitch, what makes it cool, because typically you're going to want to nose hook it, okay, if you're going to drop shot it, or you could even like, I don't want to call it a Texas rig, but some, you're essentially Texas rigging on a slightly larger light wire um, drop shot hook or whatever, you know. Um, but the tail of this has a lot of action where it just kind of floats around and does its own thing. This whole bait is just, it's very, it's a very good finesse presentation. And this color with it being darker like this kind of gives it a broken up appearance to attract attention, which I really like. Um, it's got little eyes little muted dorsal fin there on the back but the color on this is really cool look at that you can definitely see all the flake in it but it's like a it's like a smoky grayish dark purple with that prism flake in it <clears throat> so far the, the, the prism flake seems to be a, uh, a favorite here in this exclusive little bundle here for me which so far I'm 99% sure I don't have any of these colors so far, and the boot, um, the Ridgeworm, I've never gotten in a six sack. So that's that's already really exciting. All right, uh, we've got a couple up here. Let's grab this one. Hoo -hoo. Okay, so this is the Juggle Minnow. Um, think of the Juggle Minnow, sort of like just like a. I don't want to say a baby flush because it's a completely different bait. Really what it's got in common with it is it's a bait fish oriented profile. This color is not going to show up probably very well on the screen at all. Um, but it's got that little nodule on the tail that just kind of, it gives it just a little bit of action, not a ton of action, but just enough. Um, and this bait is really, really great. For drop shot, um, you can, um, well, you can really fish it just about any way, but the, the way that I've been using it a lot lately is the, um, the hover rig. So basically it's like a, it's like a jig hook. Um, do I have one readily any hooks readily available? Actually, I do. Just one, one moment, guys. Uh, 
I actually didn't intend on rigging anything in this video, but I also didn't know that I was going to get a juggle and be able to talk about this, because this is kind of something that I've played with and I really like. Okay, so the hover rig, set this box back down. So the hover rig, this particular one, this is from Core, um, Core Tackle. Um, Matt Steffen is one of the co-owners of it. He's a pro bass fisherman and he's a YouTuber. I really like his content too. Um, but so these come. This is three sixty four seven ounce. It's a one knot hook and it's weedless. Okay, um, this came in a three pack. I think it was like four bucks it was really cost effective so basically you're going to kind of put this on here like this kind of get an idea of where you want to be at and then try to keep it as straight as possible i know everybody's videos about everything says try to keep it as straight as possible and you want to start about a third of down the bait. Just going to kind of get it in through like that. Push it up. Now this is the tricky part and this takes a little bit of practice is getting this head shoved into the front part of this. But it goes. You might rip it a couple times. I did. I did. There's no shame in that. So you end up with a bait like this. Okay. Wow, this camera's probably really going to hate this because it's such light wire. So it's coming basically right out where it really starts to taper. And your hook, your line point is right here towards the middle. So when this is going through the water and you're kind of working it kind of like a crappie jig, so you're just going to kind of bounce it back to you a little bit. You don't really want it to hit bottom. You just kind of want to slowly yo-yo it back to you, kind of like if you were yo-yoing a lipless. And, oh, I rigged that sideways. That's fine. Anyway, um, so this is kind of the way that you're going to want to rig it, but the correctly, the correct direction like I did. But this color is super cool. I really like this pink. So it's kind of got like a translucent pink with a lot of flake. And then it's got this nice lighter, darker, I, darker light pink, I guess. Um, I really like the Juggle Minnow. A little four inch guy, nice little finesse bait. Plus, if you have forward facing radar, this is really awesome because you can see this on your forward facing. Um, and you can kind of maneuver it through the water column where you want to and then just kind of drop it in the area and keep it moving through the fish's area. I really like the juggle. Um, let's keep moving on. Ooh, the crew. Okay, so this is like their, oh man, but truth pronunciation of this, methylate, methylate color. But anyway, so it's like this neon orange, okay? This is actually semi-translucent translucent unlike the regular methylate color that they have that's not translucent but with this being a crew that's really awesome because the crew is a tube okay and so it's got a tube you got little feelers back here like a normal tube empty channel here in the middle you got little claws here they provide action and you got little feelers down the sides this is super cool I actually I don't fish the tubes a lot, but this is definitely this is definitely something that I'm going to have to throw a fair amount. This is going to be good. I really like this color, especially for smallmouth. This this is a good smallmouth bait. Get your little tube jig head, shove it up in there, cut the back up a little bit so it matches your hook. This is, this is cool, guys. So it's like that translucent orange with a little bit of black speckle on it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. 
a little bit maybe. Um, but this, this is this is really really cool. That's this is gonna be a small mouth killer. I really think so. All right, and this is our last bait. This is the last bait, and it is the bongo. Okay. So the bongo is so it's a it's a craw trailer, or I guess not really a trailer, but it's more of a moving bait. I I feel like it's a moving bait. So it's kind of a craw uh, craw shape here, okay. And on the claws, it's got these ridges on it, so they they flap. So you can use it as a great trailer. And this is like a I don't want to say it's black and blue, but it's 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 like a black and blue, but it's not really it's not really black. It's kind of like a smoke grayish black. I don't know. It's kind of like a like a gray blue black. Anyway, I'm not upset. I really like the Bongo. The Bongo makes a great trailer throw it on swim jigs, you can throw it on regular jigs, um, you can throw it on all kinds of different things, and it's going to be, it's going to be awesome, but yeah, so let's see what we got here, I believe this bundle of all the exclusives was 27 bucks, so for 27 bucks, I got, I actually do not have any of these colors, okay, None of these exclusive colors do I actually have, which is awesome. Kind of sucks a little bit. I was really hoping to get that uh, that exclusive color Hogwalla that we got. I want to say it was like late last summer because I, I got lucky and I found a couple on eBay that I was able to get for like a good price. Um, I think I paid like seven bucks shipped for them. So every once in a while you can find the exclusives in it on eBay um, yeah so I got seven packs of baits all exclusive colors that I can't buy um, for 27 bucks so 28 bucks so essentially four dollars four dollars back I'm not mad about that at all like the the only color that I might not like is a stroker claw, craw and that kind of cool, really cool, weird peach color. I'm just not really sure what I'm going to pair this with. I could just throw it on a Texas rig and just let it go. But, yeah. <coughs> That's it for the exclusive bundle. Um, if you guys would like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. Um, but, yeah. That's it. We're done with this starting to warm up most places are either spawn pre-spawn or they're going post spawn it's beautiful outside so get out there and fafo fish around and find out guys take care see you later